In addition to the brute force attack, there's also another common attack called the known plain text attack. In this attack, the attacker has a copy of the plain text and the ciphertext version of the protected file, so he has before and after pictures. This allows the attacker to analyze the relationship between the plain text and ciphertext. Now, it would be unusual for an attacker to already have a copy of the before and after. What that means is that some compromise has already occurred in order to fetch the original plain text. However, once that occurs, you can then analyze it and figure out if there is a frequency distribution issue where you can find out the number of letter A's correspond to some transposition or some pattern in the ciphertext. The more sophisticated algorithms remove and diffuse any type of pattern such as this, but the known plain text may work on some of the simpler algorithms. Another type of attack, as I mentioned, is the chosen plain text. In the chosen plain text attack, the attacker can encrypt the plain text message. So if the attacker can encrypt a plain text message, he ends up with an encrypted message or ciphertext. He then compares this ciphertext with the result of another encryption to hopefully discover the key by matching the two ciphertexts up. He takes the ciphertext that he created plus the ciphertext of a previous encryption, and if they match, he knows that he can find the key. Or if they don't match, he might be able to find patterns that will give him clues as to what the key would actually be. Either way, he actually replicates the process with his chosen plain text to figure out what the ciphertext is going to look like.